Hey, how's it going, everybody? Smoking my Savinelli Bing that was graciously, graciously gifted to me by Israel SoCal Piper. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this as one of my dress up, stepping out, going out on the town pipes. Uh, definitely add this to the three, to the three, uh, I keep for, uh, special occasions when you head on out, you know, anyway, inside we have a mixture of Cornell and Dale, Dow, Burley Flake, and we cut it a little bit with Sir Walter Raleigh. Not bad. And uh, we have the device, the Honest Lighter from Greg Tunnel, black coffee, of course. So I want to do something real different today. I want to go down memory lane a little bit. I wanted to discuss cigarellos. Cigarellos. Memory lane. You know, when I first started smoking at 14, 14 and a half, <laughs> cigarellos were the first thing I ever smoked. The pipe, I picked up the pipe at about 18, early 18, late 17, but Cigarellos were the first thing I smoked. And I was just wondering if any of you ever smoked cigarellos. Cigarellos are the machine made small cigars. They're not premium cigars. Uh, they're made with a lot of filler tobacco. They have a uh, homogenized wrapper on them, a lot of them. Um, machine made. Not hand rolled at all, and they're quite. They were. Uh, haven't had one in decades. Well, I take that back. I I did have. I did buy a small pack of uh, Arturo Forente cigarellos from one of the on online retailers. They were little ones. They were smaller than the average cigarello. They're about yay big, and um, they were qu quite flavorful. Uh, there was 10 in a tin for like uh, 12 or $13. But anyway, back to the original cigarellos. These were the cigar, these were the machine maids in a cardboard pack of five. And there were several, several, many, let's do uh, many brands. And some of my favorites were Robert Burns, King Edward Specials. And I've searched the internet for them, and I don't think they make them anymore. King Edward Sw uh, Specials. King Edward Swisher Sweets. I'm sure some of you have smoked them and are quite aware of those. Muriel. Muriel Cigars. Have a Tampa. They, uh, some of these cigarellos would have a plastic tip on them. Have a Tampa was one of them. Uh, Tipperellos, I didn't like them, but Tipperellos had the plastic tip on them. Uh, Anthony and Cleopatra. Dutch Masters. White Owls. And, uh, so, so many more. And I remember, I remember like it was yesterday at 14, I remember the price of these cigars because not having a job, I had to use my chore money or what have you. A pack of cigarellos, a five pack, usually was 35 to 48 cents depending on the brand. And you would go into the grocery store, Kmart, Woolworth, the drug store, uh, the mom and pop family owned corner store. And there would be a display stand 
displaced in Iraq with maybe four or five shells on it, about as high as I am, maybe six, well, maybe five foot tall. Uh, I'm not five foot tall, but it was probably five foot tall. And I would go in there as a 14-year-old and just stare at that thing amazed, just amazed, and uh, decide which packet of cigarellos I'd want. These were quick smokes, 15 minutes at the most. I liked the flavor. I uh, Very good. Uh, my buddies would, back then, some of my buddies would smoke cigarettes, but... I always preferred the cigarellos. Uh, some iconic cigarette smokers, or cig cigarello smokers, I'm sorry. Clint Eastwood, in his spaghetti westerns, he always had a cigarello. And I always wondered what brand that was. Uh, I wonder if that was an American brand, or, or since the movies were made in Italy, I was wondering if it was an Italian brand or not. Uh, you could still get some of these cigarellos today. I know the dollar stores around my area, I've seen them in the back display, you know, locked up like they're the uh, nuclear codes, uh, you know, locked up, oh, lock this up, no one can look at it, pick it up and read it, you know, it's the nuclear football, you know, it's, it's plutonium, it's gold bullion, lock it up, lock that tobacco up, Ooh. unbelievable, how huh? ridiculous, but uh, I noticed now they don't come in the cardboard five packs. Uh, they come in two packs, no cardboard of, uh, what would you call it, cellophane. And I see the price, two for a dollar twenty-five Dutch Masters, or two for a dollar Swisher Sweets in these little two packs. And of course, of course, the companies that manufacture these have some come succumbed and bowed down to the weed smokers because now they have flavored them with i i was viewing when i was at the counter and, and asked the girl to show me some and she she uh graciously did uh or not show me some but let me look at them from the counter you know what i'm trying to say they have chocolate grape and we all know grape, chocolate, punch, cognac, the fruity flavors are marketed toward the dope heads for their blunts, sadly. Uh, it's a shame. Anyway, that's my opinion. You may have a whole different opinion. And uh, that's what makes it nice. You're quite allowed. I think it's ridiculous that these big... Manufacturers have succumbed, bowed down to the weed smokers because, let's face it, everybody frowns on tobacco now and these companies found out that there's still a market for their, their cigarellos. Yeah. Anyway, memory lane, um... Did you smoke cigarellos? Leave it in the comments. I'd like to hear. What was your brand of cigarellos? Uh, how long did you smoke them before you picked up the pipe? Do you still buy them occasionally? Uh, do you remember what you paid for them? As I said, I paid 35 cents to 48 cents, depending on the brand. How long did you smoke these? I smoked these probably from the age of 14. No, I was still buying them when I was an early newlywed. When I was in my uh, mid-20s, I was still buying them. Of course, they weren't 48 cents, 35 cents then. I actually forget what they were then. I just remember them when I was a young kid because not having a job, as I said, that stuck out. I needed 35 cents to get a pack. <laughs> well... Hope you enjoyed going down memory lane with me. Uh, hope you liked it. If you thought it was boring, uh, let me know. I'd like to know this. I'd like to know what you think. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you find it boring? Eh, let me know. 
And once again, let me know if you smoked cigarillos, what your brand was, how long you smoked them, and uh, what you paid for them. Oh, it is primary election day in Pennsylvania. I'm headed out to vote. Thanks for stopping by.